Breeze is brought to you by Elite Exteriors, roofing, siding, windows, and gutters. All right, we are back quickly approaching a quarter after five o'clock already on this Friday. And once again, uh, the initial front moving across the area this morning, we've noticed the change here in the metro, mainly with the wind. That's the big story at the current time. Temperatures actually still not bad. Most of us in the upper 20s to around 30 here in the metro, but it will be getting colder through the day as temperatures again fall through the 20s and the winds will eventually put wind chill factors from the teens down below the 10 degree mark. I think by this afternoon, looking at wind chill factors, probably in the mid to upper single digits. Then the reinforcing shot of Arctic air comes in tomorrow night and Sunday. That will be accompanied with some light snow. I think a lot of us could see a dusting, maybe an inch or two. Not a huge thing, but certainly enough to kind of recoat the ground. And then just the cold weather will be the big story by early Sunday morning. Outside right now, we're 29 degrees. There's the winds. North, northwest, 18 gusting to 25. The other numbers getting even colder to the north. Look at this right now in Wayne. It's already down to 19. Currently Lincoln still at 28. And then look at this right along and especially south of the interstate. We still got 30 showing up in many locations right now. Red Oak 32, Fall City 34, Maryville down on the campus of Northwest Missouri State 35. But even there, the winds knocking the windshield factor to 28 and then it feels a lot colder from Omaha to the north, still in the mid teens here, back to Lincoln, but look at that single digits. In fact, it feels like two above right now on Wayne with the colder air and the wind pushing in. All right, as we check out our future cast through today, not much change, a lot of clouds, maybe a few flurries, but you see temperatures kind of up and down through the low to mid 20s. In fact, I'll be shocked if we actually get back in the upper 20s this afternoon. I think this computer model, a little optimistic. And then even colder tonight, we don't recover much tomorrow. And then that next shot of Arctic air really brings the temps down through the second half of the weekend. Outside right now, here as we check out Viper, you can see some clouds around the Boys Town area. In fact, most of the metro seeing clouds move across our skies. Occasionally we get a little mist or a few flurries. It's very, very light. Nothing that radar would pick up, but you can see we're probably going to be locked into the clouds through a good part of today. So with that being said, a couple of flurries possible this morning. Temperatures steady and actually falling through the 20s. They may try to recover a little bit this afternoon, but uh, the highs already been achieved just after midnight in the mid 30s. And to make matters worse, the northwest winds stay up through most of the day at times gusting at 30. Fortunately, we lose the wind tonight as we drop all the way down to eight above and then the forecast from all very little recovery here. I think we get back in the mid to upper teens. Then the next shot of Arctic air comes in tomorrow night with that a better chance of some light snow. Again, some light accumulation with that a dusting of maybe a couple of inches in spots. Otherwise, we'll be down to six below by Sunday morning. Five for the high on Sunday. That may be optimistic. Then we're down close to 10 below by Monday morning before temperatures get back closer to normal early next week. And a reminder with the little snow coming in tomorrow night, if you haven't done so, you can download Snowcast to your smartphone. It'll give you a precise snow forecast. So we'll kind of see how it does. Some of the models giving us maybe a dusting to a half inch, others actually about one to two inches. So we'll see. It looks pretty light, but I do think we will see some snow, especially tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, maybe even lingering through early Sunday morning there. All right, well, all joking aside, because you know I like to complain about the cold. <laughs> no. It, this is, no, she doesn't <laughs> complain. This is serious cold. So yeah, it is. just a reminder out there, folks, make sure pets have some sort of shelter, maybe throw an yeah. extra blanket or some straw hay in for outdoor pets so they have something to insulate and make sure they have yeah. plenty of water because, you know, they drink water and that's what sure. keeps them going Absolutely. and keeps them warm. So. And it's tough because you put water out it freezes. it freezes. Yeah, so, so you have to check if it. If you can, maybe bring them in, get them in the Perfect. garage. At least I yeah. know a lot of the dogs don't like to muddy up the house. But uh, yeah, this is one of those, like you said, dangerous cold weather. It is dangerous. All joking aside, yeah. all right, Ryan. Thanks so much.